listening children hope you all are safe and healthy staying at home today we are going to restart our chapter first class you had read about the introduction of assets and bases second class you read about the indicators today what we are going to read about is activity 5.2 that turmeric is another natural indicator you must be knowing what is natural indicator the indicators which we get from nature so today we are going to do an activity first we'll read from the chapter then we'll do the activity take a tablespoon of turmeric powder add a little water and make a paste make turmeric paper by depositing turmeric paste on blotting paper filter paper and drying it cut thin strips of the yellow paper obtained put a drop of soap solution on the strip of turmeric paper what do you observe now this experiment or this activity we are going to do it live i'm going to show how the color changes and how turmeric acts as indicator for this what we have to take is turmeric solution acid that is lemon juice soap solution these three glasses are having this is a natural indicator this is an acid this is a base now how turmeric can tell whether this is acid and this is a base now we'll see through an activity take a bowl take two bowls i'll show you both now put turmeric solution in both the bowls little bit not a lot now what you have to do is put lemon juice in one of the bowl is there any color change children do you see any color change no there is no color change it is still yellow but in the next one again we are going to watch what is the change yes soap solution we put in sir turmeric solution and what is the change you can see the color change children it is red in color so how turmeric can tell so this shows that turmeric can tell this is an acid because no change is there this is a base why because it turned red into color so this is what given in the activity 5.2 is it understood children next activity again we are going to do with another of the natural indicators what is that i am going to tell you turn out your page from the chapter it's about china rose china rose as indicator collect some china rose petals and place them in a beaker i suppose children you all know what is china rose add some warm water keep the mixture for some time and till water becomes colored use the colored water as an indicator add five drops of the indicator to each of the solutions what is the effect of the indicator on acidic basic and neutral solutions china rose indicator turns acidic solutions to dark pink and basic solutions to green now we'll see it how it changes the color for this what we have to take is china rose extract solution this is what i have prepared i have put china rose petals in hot water and this is the color we obtained next is acid again we need an acid what is the next thing we need it is the soap solution so now we have a natural indicator acid a base now what we have to do take two bowls again again we have to put this hibiscus or china rose extract in both the bowls this is what we have done a little bit not much in one of the bowl we'll put acid is there any change visible children what is changed into magenta color or pink color now what we are going to do is this is soap solution we are going to put some of it in hibiscus or china rose solution what is the change children this turn into magenta color and this turn into green color so this is what it tells this this is an indicator which tells whether this was acid because it turned magenta colored and this is a base because it turned green color now we can do something more with it keep on adding this soap solution in this what has happened 
the green color is getting disappearing it's disappearing becoming lighter and lighter why children why because if we keep on adding the basic what will happen it will turn into more basic now this is this was the activity you can also do it at home try experimenting try doing this activity and learning it what are assets what are bases and how does indicator works now next i am not letting getting sorry getting the same result when using solid baking soda on dry litmus paper why if we put solid baking soda this is a what is this this is a base dry litmus paper it is an indicator but we are not getting any result why we are not getting any result because this is a solid baking soda and this is a dry litmus paper there are no free ions available it is not in solution form so the reaction won't take place so first it has to be either made sol in a solution form then the reaction will take place now moving further paheli brought the following paheli for you this is a riddle this you can solve this you can experiment at home whether coffee is a base or a acid activity 5.4 the teacher is requested to get the following dilute chemicals from his or her school laboratory or from a nearby school hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid acetic acid sodium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide calcium hydroxide lime water that is sorry children we, i cannot get it because i am not getting it in market i don't have it at home so this experiment whenever school reopens we can try it out great care should be taken while handling laboratory acids and bases because they are corrosive in nature irritating and harmful to skin obviously children most of the acids are natural acids are not harmful but most of the synthetic acids or made in laboratories are very harmful for us like hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid now are you familiar with the term acid rain you must have heard this word what is acid rain any time further do you have any knowledge about it have you ever heard about damaging effect of acid rain as the name indicates the rain containing excess of acids is called an acid rain where do these acids come from the rain becomes acidic because of carbon dioxide sulfur dioxide nitrogen dioxide which are released into the air as pollutants dissolve in rain drops to form carbonic acid sulfuric acid and nitric acid respectively acid rain can cause damage to buildings historical monuments plants and animals now apart from what is written in the book children we need to understand what is acid rain rain is normal but in areas where more industries and factories are there what happens due to smoke more of acids are liberated in the atmosphere due to the presence of more and more acids in the uh, atmosphere what happens when the rain drops fall down they mix up in the uh, with the acid and they fall off as acid rain with carbon dioxide carbonic acid sulfur dioxide sulfuric acid nitrogen dioxide nitric acid and they all are harmful for the monuments so acid rain is harmful demonstrate the effect of three indicators on each of the solutions now this is what you have done the two activities we have done now you must be knowing how to tell whether a substance is acid or a base next your homework or home assignment is table 5.3 and 5.4 here in 5.3 various types of acids and bases are given you have to tell on turmeric solution what is the effect and tell the nature acidic or basic you can try it at home because everything you easily get at home here the five, table 5.4 again the same what is the color change it is asked about what is the color change when you do the activity you can easily get the color change just like the china rose turned on putting acid it turned into magenta china rose on putting base it turned into green same way you have to note down the color change and this you can only write when you do the activity so children please do the activity enjoy your holidays lockdown period by doing these activities thank you children